Uh, reversible adiabatic air turbine. So we might have this in a ground power unit, for example. So the air power turbine drives a small generator, which requires a power of 2 kilowatts. The air supply for the turbine is provided by a reservoir, and the pressure and temperature of the turbine entry may be considered constant at 9 bar 20 degrees Celsius, respectively. The velocity of the air at inlet to the turbine is small and may be neglected, but at exit the velocity is 55 meters per second. The exit pressure is 1.2 bar, and we're asked to calculate the air temperature at exit from the turbine and the mass flow rate of air. We are to take the specific heat capacity at constant pressure of air to be 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram per meters Kelvin, and the ratio of specific heats to 1.4. So we are given the um, pressure at the inlet as 9 bar, and we're told that's 20 degrees Celsius, so that equates to 293 degrees Kelvin. And we're told that the pressure at the outlet is 1.2 bar, so P2 is 1.2 bar. Uh, we're told that the power being generated is 2 kilowatts, so this thing is 2 kilowatts. So 2 kilowatts is the turbine is producing 2 kilowatts of work to drive the generator. We're assuming a 100% efficiency here. And we're told that the velocity of the air at the exit is 55 meters per second. Okay, so it's a reversible adiabatic process, so we can use uh, this equation. So when we plug in the values then, the, uh, the units again cancel out and we multiply both sides by 293 and when I do that I get 165 degrees uh, Kelvin. And I'll just check that value now with my calculator 293, 1.29, uh, as it goes. 164.7, which is uh, one, clear enough 165. Okay, so that's the temperature. For the second part of the question, we're asked to calculate the, the mass flow rate of air. Alright, so the air is in our reservoir here. It comes out, it goes through the turbine, causes the turbine to rotate. The rotational shaft causes the generator to rotate, and that gives us our uh, electricity. So this is uh, an open uh, system, and in an open system, we can use the steady state energy equation. And in the process, we're not adding any heat, so the Q is zero. We're going to assume that the there is no difference in height between the input of the turbine and the uh, output of the turbine. So we're going to assume that that's zero. Okay. So then we're told that the work is uh, 2 kilowatts is mass times the difference, the change in enthalpy. So the change in enthalpy is Cp times T2 minus T1. And the change in kinetic energy is V2 squared minus V1 squared, all over 2. And we're going to neglect the, the, G, the GZ, so that's going to go. So I'm going to plug uh, the values in. And yeah, that's just them again. I don't know what I was doing. So, uh, 1005 times 165 minus 293 is minus 128, 640. And 55 squared uh, minus 0, and then divide that by 2, is 1512.5. So, when I add those together, I get minus 127, 127. So, the M then is just 2000 divided by 127, 127, and that works out at 0 